the chakras and the artificial intelligence control system we have the ten dimensions or the point and the nine dimensions we have the three signals the, the video signal the, the audio signal and the pressure signal and then we have the seven chakras which I've marked on here as these big ugly dots this is the base of the spine the earth chakra, the Muladhara chakra this is the uh, sexual center sexual chakra this is the navel center the navel chakra this is the heart chakra the throat chakra the throat chakra for the audio signal remember and there is the third eye for the video signal and there is the thousand petal lotus for the source the focus the imagination so all of these points all of these spheres all of these circles concatenate onto this one onto the imagination and we start off with the obviously simple one of the video signal the video signal you see coming back to a point right so it comes back to a point remember the first dimension is a function of pi the second dimension is a function of E the screen on which we see everything dissolve and then the fifth dimension here is the eye the observer which is a function of phi or a manifestation of phi, the heart, the, the pentacle. So all of these go back to one point. So that goes back to, and that comes back into here. So from that point, we then stretch out this triangle through the eye. Uh, from the imagination, we get the movement as a function of pi, the decay as a function of E. And the observer seeing harmony, seeing the golden mean as a function, as a manifestation of phi. So that's the first thing. Is creating this fourfold division of the dark energy, the prana, the chi the G, the Yi, the spirit, the abstract, the abstract, remember this is the abstract, the imaginary, this is the superposition, the focal point, that our minds or our spirits have got this ability to focus on any level, any world, any point. This is the function of I, of the imagination. This video signal is the realm of quantum mechanics. Quanta. This is the cartoon imagination the cartoon memory that we see on the mind screen at the third eye so this is the first analysis and through that we anal analyze speed and relative acceleration the, the differential and there we have the integral which recognizes the area the surface of the two-dimensional so, so, oh, of the video signal so there we have the video signal and there we have the differential and there we have the integral and they function to lock in that triangle and the, the triangle grows from that point on that function from E and pi As we get this quantum mechanical function of the video signal, it creates 
the waveform, which is relativity in a space time, the third and the fourth dimension. And that waveform is sound, the soundtrack, the audio signal. This is the audio signal. And there we have the differential of that audio signal, which shows the intensity of that signal, of, you know, its closeness, its proximity remember from here and there we have the integral of that signal which shows its resonance or its dissonance you know its, its functioning harmony so this is how the, the the self the observer is then trapped there in space-time see there's the energy and there's the, there's the light, there's the quantum mechanical, there's the relativity. So from that movement, we get from that movement of pi, we get the movement in and out of focus. We get the idea of space, which gives us the element water, which we check through smell and that gives us the third dimension which I've drawn as an ohm sign because that's actually where the three comes from so not ohm, ohm sign for home you know we smell the water of home the place of home but this is space this is space time this is the audio signal we identify space we, we recognize spaces or by the audio signal by the echo location and then we name them by the smell. So we, we smell, we can recognize which space it is by the smell, but we recognize its dimensions, its size, its particular, well, it's a cathedral or, you know, or a kitchen from the second location, whether we were inside or outside or in a tunnel, we can recognize from that sound. That's how we, we consciously identify spaces but naming them with the smell and that waveform when that waveform endures we get the sound we get hearing and obviously we get voice and we get, we get and that gives us the idea of time we have the idea of regularity of rhythm the rhythm of our lungs the regularity of our bowels Four is a clock, remember. These are the hands of the clock. The one is a tunnel, moving to a tunnel. The two is a face. So these are called entoptics. The Isakar entoptic, the tunnel entoptic, seeing faces. There's the ohm, the wave, the smelling. There's the clock. And here we have the five, the eye. There's the eyeball and there's the eyebrow. And then that eye is trapped then in space time. And there we have the voice. So the voice is then resonating, you know, with others in the group and the environment, imitating, mimicking, you know, the soundtrack and joining in through the throat chakra. So that <coughs> the third eye <coughs> is built on the first and the second dimensions. <coughs> the throat chakra, the audio signal, is built on the third and the fourth dimensions. And they're held in place and locked in by this system, the triangles, by these levels through the chakras. So each system is control, controlling each other and passing information up and down through all the properties you know the steps of outlining entoptic obstructs but through the properties of the subject now from this movement the pressure from this water 
we then get pressure, which is the six, the six of the uh, the anti-clockwise spiral or sentient optic. A six is then pressure, and that comes obviously, if you like, with surface tension. So this is green. This is all the vegetation. And this is our sense of touch, and it's like hunting and gathering. It's related to you know picking up food for deciding and for planning ahead and to do with the functions of the, of the liver and the gallbladder <coughs> function <coughs> from this level <coughs> from having arise from having that <coughs> surface tension that film that cellular wall so we get the development of the liver and gallbladder functions now that pressure the continuance of that pressure map if we get a rigid pressure map then we get a shape which we identify through taste and that's the volume so that is pressure p v for a volume don't get me set with volume and the three dimensions this is a separate volume separate shape separate pressure map p v over t this is the temperature this is the heat the sexual center the energy center, which is held in space, in place by space-time. You know how much energy is we've got determines how we're traveling from place to place over time, how fast. Which is back up into the quantum mechanical, into the visual signal. You see how it's integrated? It's integrated through the through the steps of entoptic hops, through the through the hops from one step to the other. Which I plan to go through as in the lunar calendar, the beginning of those steps, you know, the cycle of, the, of time, you know, routine. So, this is where we're on now is this pressure signal. And this pressure signal comes out in, a, in the navel center in our stomach. So, we lead with this center. We're hunting for vegetation for food which we're identifying which we're then incorporating into our physical body into our metabolism pressure audio video video is quantum mechanics audio is relativity and pressure is gravity <laughs> You see the control system, there's the control system from the observer who can drive through the third eye, through our memories and our visions and our projections of what's happening. We can, you know, we can, you know, move about. And then we can follow that on the schedule on space time and go to different places at different times. And in different places and different times at that place, we can feel the pressure of the objects in that place and eat and consume them. Now, let's say in an animal, it finds itself in a certain position, subject to, you know, the ninth dimension. Remember the G, little G, the nine. It's a gravity. Quantum gravity is position. Position there, and it's. I've got an orientation, a posture, which determines its movement, its progress, its change. And it's feeling objects and identifying them and putting them back into position. So, you see what I mean? So, it's feeling around, seeing what that object is, identifying it. And either consuming it or just identifying its position in the world. And this is how we build up this map here of the world. So this is divine objectivity. 
This really is divine objectivity because this shows the ten dimensions of string theory and the seven chakras extending out the body from those dimensions or the dimension to the body being projected out from the chakras or the chakras being built on the, the ten dimensions. So here we have the, the mystical body, the real conscious body and structure. And knowing our extension in space time and, and experience of being a physical body, of being a sexual being, of having a heart and relationships with others and moving in cliques or separating from others and coming together into a collective understanding into zero dimensions, into cyberspace, into consensus, into awareness, into the transcendental. And these, so when you say it comes down from the transcendental structure, these transcendental numbers creating these dimensions, forming these chakras. But remember that this chakra is the, the first and second dimension, the visual chakra. The throat chakra is the audio signal. We put out a sound, we mimic sound. This is the pressure sound. We feel pressure in our stomachs, anxiety over the flow of things.